Hello, Tyler. This will be some uh, week three video feedback for you. And I'll start with the uh, discussion on copyright and ethics. And then I'll cover the 2 1 exercise, which was the silhouette or masking, and then the uh, page compositing. Tyler, I like some of the statements uh, in your initial post, including, you know, space, what separates space balls uh, or the Austin Powers series from any. Or any weird Al Yankovic songs from Jeff Koons' Fate to Bear. They're kind of all in the same league in their zaniness. Um, the Frank Davidovici ad, which was designed and photographed for the uh, French fashion brand Naf Naf, um, was done in the 80s, early 80s, I think, and sort of the height of postmodernism. It shows a lot of the characteristics, I think, of postmodern uh, advertising, including that kind of surreal uh, juxtaposition of uh, unexpected elements and substitution, syntactic substitution, which would include replacing a pig uh, or a St. Bernard with a flask of brandy with a pig. Um, pigs were also used to hunt for truffles, you know, in the springtime, maybe, you know, buried at the base of trees in the snow. Um, all these allusions are sort of Eurocentric, which is primarily, or at least at the time, was uh, Jeff Koon's audience, I'm thinking. And um, he also, so he, he rode in on Davidovici's uh, coattails, in the sense, all that nuance for a European audience. Uh, but he made some changes that maybe to weasel his way out of a copyright charge and they included um, using the face of his ex-wife uh, in place of a model for NAF NAF. Anyway, think about your own images uh, that you've chosen uh, in light of this and um, you know make sure that you document uh, your sources. Consider metadata. Uh, we'll be talking about that in, I think in week five when it comes to organizing your files. Uh, Tyler, I see two files, uh, one a PSD and one that looks like a screenshot. But anyway, uh, you've got the uh, the layers down, the layers thing down great. Um, and let's see, color mask, what does that look like? Hmm. Uh, you have a layer for background, appears. Oh, no, I'm sorry, we're not, we're not at the page compositing stage yet on this exercise. And you have the original intact. Um, you know, it's probably not necessary to even have this base image, um, but let me check uh, resolution, but uh, and <clears throat> in terms of layers, you've done a great job. Oh, so 810 by at 300 dpi. Perfect. It looks like it's going to import well. Nice job. Um, was this tricky to get this lattice work masked? Nice job, though. Uh, Tyler, um, when I open up your Illustrator file, this is 2.2, here is the error message I get. And here's the important thing to remember is that in order to make your files freestanding and portable, you need to embed your images rather than uh, link to them. And it's a tricky little thing in the Illustrator uh, interface. Um, let me show you how that's done, okay? But uh, I'm just going to click through these for the time being to see if you got the other... Uh, rubric categories of the assignment um, right and it looks like you have um, the important thing was to create three layers all right one with the photograph on it which I don't see well th there it is okay one with the vector logo which I do see this looks distorted though did you did you know that you can open up the um, Let's see if I can find it. The style guide, the Amethyst Bay style guide. And uh, you can copy and paste from, here it is, from the style guide. I, you know, here it is using the, the direct select tool, just copying what I need, copying it to the clipboard, Command C on a Macintosh. Not sure what it is elsewhere. And whoops, go back. Okay, go back to your Illustrator file, paste, and uh, there it is. Now, you, you, I think you would appreciate the difference. Um, this looks a little coarse. This is much more refined. 
I hope you didn't try to re uh, re recreate that. That would be um, a lot of work. But at least you got, you, if you did, at least you got some experience with vectors. Okay, back to embedding an image versus um, uh, linking. So I'm going to go to the layer, background layer, uh, which is the color, actually layer five. I'm going to relabel that uh, photo. All right, so, and then I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go up under file, place. And I'm sure you did this, but here's the tricky thing. File, place, okay. And I'm just going to uh, fish around for something. It'll, you know, you have, you'll have it on your computer. This is something from uh, Michelle in this class. Now, here's the quickie thing. Make sure that this is not clicked. Okay? That little feature down there makes all the difference between linking and embedding. Uh, because this is in the cloud, it's not allowing me to place it, but um, I think you get the idea. Okay, here we go. So uh, I managed to put it on my desktop. Uh, remember, I'm not linking this place. It's going to create a large file, and I can put it anywhere. Now, you can tell the difference between a linked and a placed file. Uh, a linked file is going to have an X through it, just like this missing link file did. If you embed them, they won't have that X through them. Okay, hope this helps. Good luck in finishing your ads.